What's up, you guys? I don't even know how much time I have left, but... Wow. Oh, I see it here. 27. That's not bad. Oh, I'm gonna come too. Oh, shoot. Let me take this out. Hi. I'm gonna be uh, come chewing and uh, showing some more of my like CD collection. I believe I've shown some uh, before. Uh, I hope I'm not repeating certain ones that I just I can just grab these, but some I did pick out intentionally. But um, these things are dirty. I did not clean them off, but I will wash my hands when I'm done. Um, I'm kind of holding them on the corners, but um, they are a little uh, dusty. And they will reveal, like, they will show my age for sure, but I don't care. Some of you say you like when I do these kinds of videos, so um, I just thought I would do one today. So let's get started. Um, this one, this group is called The Ones. You can see how dirty it is. Uh, it's called Flawless. It's a uh, CD single. I know I look flawless. Absolutely flawless. That's the song George Michael did a uh, version of it too. I like that song. Uh, this is a uh, compilation CD. Yo MTV raps. You've seen these before. If you're of a certain age, you've seen these before. Some of the tracks on here is uh, South Bronx Boogie Down Productions. Push it, salt and pepper, my girls. Uh, it takes two. Children's story. Top billing. Me, myself, and I. It's funky enough, ladies first. Can I kick it? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. They reminisce over you. Greg Mack, flavor in your ear. Um, Wu-Tang Clan. Junior Mafia, Buff Daddy, it's a nice little hip hop CD. Another uh, compilation CD is um, this one, the house that Jack and built. Let me just let me see if that can be a thumbnail. Do I have to necessarily look at the camera for it to be a thumbnail? I just want my brows to be seen right there. That might, that might hit it. Or if I do this. Okay. Um, this is the roots of, of 80s Chicago house music. Seeing as I'm from Chicago. There's uh, Move Your Body, Marshall Jefferson. Love Can't Turn Around. Farley Jack Master Funk, Frankie Knuckles, Mr. Fingers, Jamie Principal, Ralphie Rosario, you used to hold me, you used to feel me, oh, the classics, classics on here, oh, Bananarama, this was from 1984, now, I was on Spotify recently and was so, oh my god, I was, this is when the 80s girl comes out. Oh, I was so excited to discover that the album that has those big hit Venus on it, which was unavailable on Spotify for the longest, is now available on Spotify. I had that on cassette and I was so glad to hear that. I'm gonna listen to that in full sometime during the apocalypse, but this one has Cruel Summer on it. Y'all know Cruel Summer. And uh, Robert De Niro's Waiting. And I like a song called Hotline to Heaven and Rough Justice. Oh, and The Wildlife, which is an obscure uh, song of theirs from the movie called The Wildlife, which I never saw. I just like the song. Love this album. Parliament. This is called The Motor Booty Affair. This album I had as a kid. See, this is horrible, but 
when I bought the vinyl, this guy over to Lloyd did a lot of their artwork. He recently passed away. But when you open this particular album up, the theme was it was an underwater, um, an underwater affair, an underwater dance club or party or something in a place, fictional place called Atlantis. And you open it up and there was this pulp, this thing that like came out that you had to kind of put together. And it was, you, I, it was, it's hard to explain. Maybe you can see it online. But all of their cast of characters that they mentioned on the album, you see them in the cover. It's such a great, great creative concept album. And um, the big hit over here is Psycho Alpha Disco Beta Bio Aqua Dulo Aqua Buggy. I had that 45, I ran out and got it. I was a huge Parliament fan. 80s Minute Work, this is a best of. Who can it be now, Down Under? My favorite is Overkill. And a lot of the other, one of her songs were hits on there. You all will be shocked at my selection, but maybe not, but. So I had this, um, Uncle Sad, this was probably my first introduction to The Cure. And then I went, got, went back and got everything else. I grabbed this on CD uh, long after the fact. But all their hits are on here. Let's go to bed, boys don't cry. <coughs> Excuse me, hold on. My orange Fanta from earlier. The Walk of the Love Cats, close to me. In between days. Classic album. Let's see if I can get a little more gum. Gum. Case the and the Sunshine Band, best of. Get down tonight. I'm your boogeyman. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. My favorite is that's the way uh, 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 I like it. That bass line is ridiculous. It's subtle. Only if you are like a real hard listener to detail in music. Listen to this song and just follow the, the bass line. It's really funky. It's not complex, but it's funky. Keep it coming, love. Please don't go. Yeah. Boogie shoes. Yeah. Give it up. That's a nice one. Do you want to go party? I like that one too. Good. Best up to have. If you got a 70s theme party, this would be the one. And my girl, Madonna. This is the uh, Confessions on a Dance Floor album. Lot of songs that made the chart like number one on the dance charts but didn't really uh do that well on the actual billboard hot 100 but that's okay it might have been a number one album though rest in peace brother prince parade from 1986 
boyfriend and girlfriend at this time. This is a best of. This was the two of them together. And the band is called Creatures. And this is their best of, their compilation. That's her husband, Pudgy. Well, he was her boyfriend then. They married in 90 or 91. And they are now divorced. They've been divorced for a long time. You don't know anything over here unless you know Susie and the, and the band she's. You won't know anything on here, but I love it. And I love that it has the lyrics, too. I think. Does it have lyrics on here? Yeah. It has the lyrics. You can't really see it, but... Anyway, I will move on. I just wanted to show y'all versatile I am musically and here's another example Lou Reed from the Velvet Underground Transformer so this is the album that has um, there's a song called Perfect Day that I'm sure you've heard a million times it's such a perfect day da, 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 da. you have to listen to Whispering gives it no justice. But this is the one that has Walk on the Wild Side. The color girls say, do, 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 hey, do, 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 do. This is a really good album. And I like that part. All right, see? That little, I think that's supposed to be a banana. Susie and the Banshees. This is a album called Through the Looking Glass. When I when I used to when I first started experimenting with my eyebrows, I used to have them dark like that, not the eyeliner, just the brow. I used to have them strong like that. It's horrible. That's stay with me. You know it when you hear it. And then a dream is uh, was um, sampled by uh, Black Street in their song "Don't Leave." Dun 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 dun. A dream. This is the 
Second DNA World Tour on DVD, uh, CD. I don't think there's a DVD version. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just a uh, CD. Oh, it's a DVD. Oh, freak. Oh, I should probably watch that. Is it a CD? And no, okay. I thought it was a CD too. Okay, what the hell? Oh, wait a minute. Duh, hold on. It's on the other side, right? And there's something on the other side, too. Well, I don't know. It just says it's a DVD. Okay. This is an album called The Garden. It's from 2006. No big hits from here, but they had some really, really wonderful songs on here. Just nothing that was in the charts. And I'm gonna set you to the side to listen to later. Uh, on Spotify, of course. Okay. I'm setting this one aside to try and find songs on Spotify, but it's uh, two CDs mixed by uh, DJ Dimitri from Paris, and uh, one side is a layback side, and the other side is a is more house music side. Um, I'm gonna leave it as a reference to uh, flesh out my playlist on Spotify. Queen's own LL Cool J. A best of. So many hits on here. Rock the Bells. Going back to Cali. Jack the Ripper. Jingling Baby. Go ahead, baby. You're jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. That's my shit. Um, big old butt. Brenda got a big old butt. <laughs> the Booming System. That's another hit. Around the way, girl, mama said, knock you out. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. Lounging, classic, classic, classic. Bam, okay. Another one. This is um, a producer, DJ Patrick Forge. You don't know who he is. The show, this is a compilation CD, but I'm, I only brought it here to set aside so that I can access later. Featuring people you don't even know, but I know somewhat well. Unless you are from, maybe you know, you're from Europe or something, and you're watching this, you probably are familiar with new jazz or, um, you know, Portuguese music, Portuguese dance music and stuff. I don't want to sell y'all short like I'm the only one that knows everything. Okay. As I told you all before, I like gothic music too. This would be Bauhaus. People love Susie and the Banshees in that category as well. They were certainly around for the birth of goth music, but they never identified as goth. They fancied themselves a pop band. But, um, they have some dark music for sure. And I love uh, Peter Murphy, who's the lead singer of this band. I have this on, uh, I have the DVD of this too. This is a live, uh, I'm sorry, it's a live CD. They reunited. This was in 1998, I believe. I believe it's in 98. They're not going to make it easy for me, but I believe they are reunited in 98, did this tour, made one album afterwards, and then they left. They just, they just said, fuck it. They couldn't get along. But if you know Bella Lugosi's Dead, you've heard the song a million times, probably. It is the pinnacle 
goth song and you've heard it in movies most notably if you've watched the movie the hunger uh, starring david bowie from 1983 then you've heard bella lugosi's dad right in the beginning that's peter murphy that's the band performing okay de la soul you see how varied i am i go from goth back to hip-hop de la soul stays as high brilliant brilliant album I love this album. Sadly, it is not available on Spotify. I don't know if I, I have to blame them for that or the label or who. But um, again, not a whole lot of like big, big hits on here. But I love a track called Pony Ride. The title track stays as high as really good. There's a lot of good stuff on here. Sergio Mendez. This is from 2006. Um, they're t they did a lot of cover songs and some originals too. Or they did, um, I shouldn't say covers, they were versions of, um, updated versions, I think, of his songs. Erica Badu is on here. Well, I am. The track that I love on this album is a track called The Frog, which is featuring Q-Tip and Well, I am. That's the one I love the most. It's really nice. More Patrick Forge off to the side. Personal use for later. Another personal use one for later. So I would buy these compilation CDs. I would go to like Gramophone or Tower Records and go to their listening stations and check out, you know, sample different CDs. And I would find some tracks that I liked and didn't know where I could find them anywhere else. So I just would buy the full CD. But now I can go back and use this as a reference and try to find them on Spotify. More De La Soul. Another classic album, uh, Balloon Mind State. This has a uh, uh, ego tripping and uh, un in focus, and Break of Dawn is on here. Oh, such a lovely, lovely song. Oh, I love it. So hot. This samples Michael Jackson's song. Uh, I can't help it. Really, such a good album. Janet Jackson, Domina Joe. Right before the release of this album was when Nipplegate in 2004, the whole Super Bowl shit happened. Oh, this album um, really didn't have a lot of big hits like it should have. It's a really good album. I love R&B Junkie all night. Moist, hot song, baby. Even warmth is hot. Uh, truly, slow love. Strawberry bounce, sex exhibition. All oh, really, really good songs. Sorry. The 
this is for personal use later. Ooh, two queens, two queens of hip hop. Wow. Look here, this is an album called The Naked Truth. Put your lighters up, put your lighters up. It's a good one. I like Shut Up Bitch and Spell Check on here too. It's a good album, it should have been bigger than it was. Look how she used to look. Look at how she used to look. I don't know why she messed herself up, but anyway. And my girls, the real true queens of hip hop, the queens from Queens, none of your business, salt and pepper. Look at all of it, looks so cute. And Spinderella is doing a DJ set from her home tonight. She has a mix uh, wine. What she? What does she call it? Music and wine or something. Every Friday night, I think. And this is just uh, remixes of None of Your Business and Shoop. Okay. I used to think it was another uh, fave of mine. Culture Club Boy George. I used to think that was a white girl. Because Bo Derek used to wear her, her hair in braids. And I thought, what's this white girl trying to be Bo Derek? Yeah. That sound like a man. <laughs> classic 80s album. Not as classic as their, their second one, Color by Numbers, but still a good album nonetheless. Mary J. Blige. Okay. This album is just called Mary. Okay. Now, this had a lot of hits on it. But the song that I loved, a very unassuming little track called Beautiful Ones. It's the fourth song on the album. I remember a period when this album was, was released. I remember repeating that song everywhere I went. I loved it. I think the average person would hear it. Oh God, I'm over. I'm done. Sorry guys. Bye. <laughs>